all right so we are going to this is the engine that's going in that is the engine that's coming out that we remove the wiring harness and stuff from put the old engine as a core back on this crate so they can pick it back up they charge for the crate let's go but come on roll in boy come in all right all right mm -hmm. all right all right takes a little bit of motivating sometime and just put it to the side and then put the next one on the crate and then and put it on the engine stand if you're swapping an engine this is some of the things that you have to do so it has two lift points in the back and one lift point in the front so i just use this chain here like a balance point so i can pick it up as level as possible jack away jack away boys jack away boys all right it's up Put it to the side a little bit. Right there. One step three. All right. Make sure I'm right. Unhook from there. Unhook from the front now. Bring the other engine a little closer. about them apples mm. all right so and do the nut and bolt this is the lift eye right here hooking on to that just like that so we're attached there I'll pick up pick up the strain then i'm going to remove the engine from the engine stand easier to work with when it's it's up higher than when it's down on the ground and not moving around and all of that see just like that take a little pressure off of it see take the spin out that's free then you're going to remove this attachment from the bell housing you had to find bolts that match the bell housing bolts so i'm going to remove this now and then set this engine onto the crate get ready for the swap just bring the whole set because one of these is just all of them are the same size except one and that's it and this now will go down on the crate, ready for core pickup. Hi! Mm -hmm. You have to finish it sometimes because it's heavy. And that's it. Then do the same dance again. Remove the chain. You don't, you don't have a forklift in the shop as yet. That could make this quick and fast, but I'm not in a hurry. I am not in a hurry. All right, back over to the next one now again. All right, up. Can't be too gentle with this stuff. All right, so we're going to attach the engine hoist part to the engine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tighten up. We are now going to start positioning engine stand and then go up.
Yep, we right there. Mm-hmm. Kinda. There it is. Have the pin in. Slowly lower it down, don't jerk it. It's on there. Before I unhook the engine hoist, I always give it a little shake. Greater than it would shake if you were doing some work on it. Make sure it's not coming off of there. All right, and that's it. Well, not really it, but that's one of the steps. So, we're going to take off the oil filter housing, change the seal, change the seal here. The seal behind this, we're going to change, change the water pump, change the thermostat, spark plugs, rear main seal, new oil filter, and start putting this thing back in. See? In? All right, bless. Have a nice day, yeah. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Bless.